Hello students, under the topic Ordinary Differential Equation, we are going to solve problems on exact equation. Solve the equation 2xy dx plus x squared plus 3y squared dy is equal to 0 after checking the exactness. Now this given equation is of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Now we have to solve this equation where this m is equal to 2xy and n is equal to x squared plus 3y squared. So we have written that here. The given equation is of the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0 where m is equals to 2xy and n is equal to x squared plus 3y squared. Now we have to first check the exactness of this equation and after that we have to solve this equation. So the necessary and sufficient condition for an equation of this type to be exact is dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. So if this condition is satisfied then the given equation is said to be exact. So first step is that we have to uh, check whether the given equation is exact or not. So let us do that now. So first step is we have to find dou m by dou y. So we have to find this left hand side. So now what is m 2xy? Now we have to differentiate m partially with respect to y which means that x has to be treated as constant. So now when we differentiate this partially with respect to y, now this 2x is a constant, so we have to write it as such. And the differentiation for y is 1. So therefore dou m by dou y will be 2x. Now next we shall find dou n by dou y. So dou n by dou y will be equal to the differentiation of n partially with respect to y. I am in x, so I am sorry. Here dou n by dou x we have to find. That is differentiation of n partially with respect to x. Now y will be treated as constant. So this full term is a constant term which on differentiation will become 0. So the differentiation of x squared will be 2x. And so therefore we find that dou m by dou y is 2x and dou n by dou x is also 2x which means that uh, this given equation is an exact equation because this condition is satisfied. So therefore the given equation is an exact equation. So we have written that here. Now after uh, checking the exactness now we have to solve this equation. Now we know that the if the equation is an exact equation then there will exist a function. So there exists a function capital F. So there will exist a function capital F such that dou F by dou X will be equal to capital M and dou F by dou Y will be equal to capital N. This is by the previous theorem that we have seen. So there exists a function capital F such that dou f by dou x will be equal to m and dou f by dou y will be equal to n. Using this concept, we are going to solve this equation. Now first we will consider dou f by dou x equal to m. So what is m actually? m is equal to 2xy. So we have to write dou f by dou x is equal to 2xy. Now let us solve for capital F from this that is dou f will be equal to 2xy dou x. So taking this dou x to the right side. Now let us integrate on both the sides. So here we have to integrate with respect to f and here it is integrated with respect to x. And uh, what is the integration of dou f? It is f that will be equal to and the integration of 2xy partially with respect to x. So 2y are constant. So we have to take it out. And then integral x dx. The integration for x will be x squared by 2. And now because y is treated as constant. 
so we have to add a function which is uh, which is a constant with respect to y and it is independent of x so plus f of y so this is the integration of this so now this and this will get cancelled so f will be equal to x squared y plus f of y now in this equation we have to evaluate f of y so let us to find that we will be making use of this that is dou f by dou y is equal to n now uh, we have found capital f here f is equal to x squared y plus f of y now let us uh, to find this first we shall differentiate this f with respect to y now so dou f by dou y that is partially differentiating f with respect to y will be equal to now if this is differentiated partially with respect to y x will be treated as constant so it will come as it is and the differentiation of y is 1 plus now this is partially differentiated with respect to y so we will be getting f dash of y so this is the first differentiation of f of y so now let us substitute this value that is x squared plus f dash of y here dou f by dou y is equal to n we have no so in this if we substitute so we will get x squared plus f dash of y is equal to capital n but what is capital n it is x squared plus 3y square so that will be equal to x squared plus 3y square so from this f dash of y will be equal to taking this x squared to the other side we will get x squared plus 3y squared minus x squared so this and this will get cancelled and f dash of y can be written as dou f by dou y is equal to 3y square now dou f will be equal to 3y square taking this dou y here we get uh, 3y square dou y now integrating on both the sides what do we get the integration for dou f will be f and that will be equal to the integration for 3y squared with respect to y so it will be 3 multiplied with the integration for y squared is y cube by 3 and so this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled and so therefore the value of f that is f of y will be equal to y cube so now we have evaluated f of y now this f of y has to be substituted in this equation to get the final answer so let us do that now so therefore capital f will be equal to x squared y plus f of y f of y is what y cube so y cube and this implies that the solution so we have to write it in the form of a solution which uh, which we have seen already so how we have to write uh, we have to write 5 to be equal to x squared y plus y cube is equal to a constant c so where c is a constant so this is the solution of the given exact equation hope you have understood this uh, problem so this is how we have to solve an exact equation when um, the equation is of the form mdx plus ndy thank you